my name's Vanji Stevens. I live way up here on the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is part of Cheryl Cove. And it's probably in Big Cove, there's a debate there. But the other part of Cheryl Cove, you have to go actually on the Big Cove Road. But, but to get here, you've got to come swim or branch. So um, we've been here five years and having to restain our house. And, this and that. We've planted a lot of plants. So um, these are wild strawberries. They're pretty much non-existent. You can find them in a few places, but they're really sweet, naturally sweet. You don't have to sugar them. And um, they're smaller, but they're they're very hard to find. Uh, I guess progress where they bulldoze, plowed under a lot of our plants. Um, I could name you several plants that I don't hear of anymore, like hazelnuts, things like that. But any of your berries are probably some of the healthiest things you can eat. Well, these are the blooms. And uh, I've got, as you can see, tons of blooms. And those blooms, since we didn't get any frost, um, I think these things here kept the frost if we had any. This year's been a weird year. Uh, these have kept the um, frost from killing the blooms. So looks like I'm gonna have a, a ton of strawberries in here. I can pull these back. And it'll be another month before I have any berries. So what is this, May the 4th or something thereabouts. So, but they come back. They died down a little bit, but, and then these are the, the runners that have came off the, but you can't cut this right here. You have to wait till it embeds in the ground or put pots of dirt out here. Then you, once they embed, you can cut them, give them away. And I have people that want these, so, um, and a lot of these have uh, half the blooms on them. So they're just really healthy and good. I think anything off the land is healthy and good. So I just remembered growing up that at my granny's house, we got um, the gooseberries. We could go out. She'd get mad at us because we'd pick her strawberries. She had a big patch of wild strawberries. And that's how everybody in, on Gallimore made their money. Back then, everybody was super poor. But there was some lady that came once a week. And um, like the Welches, they'd have big tubs full of berries to sell her. So we sold berries. We ate berries. We ate peaches, gooseberries. We cooked gooseberries in tin cans and water. And that was a lot of my knowledge just from remembering. And I've always wanted gooseberries, but I finally got some. So I've got four, four plants. So um, that's it. We'll just wait and see what we're gonna get.